Hi, Dr. Nisha. My cousin is taking uh, radiation therapy after breast conservation surgery for breast cancer. What's this? So, breast conservation surgery is when the surgeon removes the tumor along with the rim of normal tissue in and around the tumor. Now, the surgeon removes whatever is visible to the surgeon's eyes and also what has been delineated by the imaging. There is always a chance that there is some microscopic tumor is left behind in spite of a very good margin taken out by the surgeon. Now it is because of these microscopic cells that is left behind and that cannot be seen by the naked eyes that the tumor comes back or the chances of local regional recurrence is there. Local recurrence means that the tumor coming back in the same breast and local regional that is a regional aspect of it is the chances of recurrence in and around the breast you know whether it is in the armpit or in the neck area in and around the collarbone so what is to be done to make sure that the chances of local recurrence is reduced so this is where the importance of adjuvant radiotherapy comes in and it is absolutely indicated that everybody or every breast cancer patient who has undergone a breast conservation surgery should receive the adjuvant radiotherapy. Now usually these adjuvant radiation therapies are given over 15 to 25 sittings and after that or along with these 15 to 25 sittings we also give a higher dose to the tumor bed so that we make sure that the chances of recurrence is minimal. Now it is not only the breast that is affected that is treated in the adjuvant radiation therapy but we also treat what we call as the supraclavicular fossa that is the area that is in and around the collarbone and the neck areas as well depending upon how aggressive your tumor was or how spread your tumor was as per the histopathology report post surgery. In order to give adjuvant radiotherapy there are different techniques that we use. Now adjuvant radiation therapy can be delivered by multiple techniques. The most basic of that being 3D CRT or 3 dimensional conformal radiotherapy. There is also IMRT that is intensity modulated radiotherapy, IGRT that is image guided radiotherapy or the VMAT that is volumetric arc radiotherapy which can be employed for the same reason that is for the adjuvant radiation therapy. Please refer to my earlier videos that has been done in order to explain what are these techniques and how do these techniques compare with each other for this situation. Also refer to my upcoming videos to check out what are the side effects of adjuvant radiation therapy. I guess that's all for adjuvant radiation therapy post PCS.